What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything you need to know about and what's going on here in our country. We cover money, investing, the stock market, the fourth stimulus package update, and stimulus check update. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. And remember, new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we have an important day coming out here on Wednesday, May 11th here, not far away. Uh, we'll go over what the announcement is going to be here uh, and what details are coming out here on that. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to brace for that. Uh, we also have a lot here coming out here we're going to go over here in this video. Like a uh, possible $500 refund tax checks or stimulus checks, whatever you want to call them, uh, for the state of Missouri, Missouri residents here. Yeah, that's right. And we're trying to cover as many of these states as possible. We have uh, a lot of different states that are issuing stimulus checks or tax refund checks. Uh, each state's kind of has a different name for them, whatever you want to call them. They're, they're very similar, almost the exact same thing. Um, here's the details of this on uh, for the state of Missouri and what the details they're going over here. We'll go over a couple different states here after this as well. A new stimulus tax rebate plan supported by their Senate. This is by the state Senate. Uh, in Missouri. Remember, each state has their own state Senate and their own state House of Representatives here. Could bring residents checks worth $500 per person. That would be $1,000 per married couple. Uh, this would be really, really good here. Remember, we've had a lot of different states that have passed state stimulus checks here uh, as well. Remember, we also have, um, I think the largest one passed so far is Maine. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, Maine's $850 stimulus payments. When will the payments be made and who can apply? Uh, this is per person for what's, what's funny here, or ironic, it's, it's for 850,000 Mainers. So $850 payments for 850,000 people. So it's kind of the same number there almost. But uh, yeah, so if you're a married couple, it's $850 times two or uh, $1,700. And this will be coming out actually, as you can see here, according to the state, Mainers can ex expect to start seeing their first round of checks arrive in their mailbox is in June. In June, so as early as next month. Wow, yeah. So that will be. I mean, it's a lot. If you're, if you're, uh, you know, a mom and a dad or a grandma and a grandpa, you could be getting seventeen hundred dollars in the state of Maine. I'll keep you up to date here on that one. But going back to the state of Missouri, um, new stimulus tax rebate plan supported by the state Senate in Missouri could bring residents checks worth $500 per person or $1,000 per married couple. The plan is to help residents deal with the rising cost of inflation. While the plan seems to be supported thus far, there still needs to be a vote by the House and Governor Mike Parson. And uh, who would be eligible for the refund? Individuals earning under $150,000 and married couples earning under $300,000 would qualify. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's that's double what the federal refunds were. They could even reduce that if if they wanted to to save some money, but that's that's would be like almost everybody. Um individuals would see payments worth $500 while married couples would see $1,000. Refunds would be prorated to stay under a $500 million cap. I believe that would be the total cost for the state, for the state. Also, Indiana has checks that are going out right now in May as well, um, worth $125 per person and $250 for married tax filers uh, for the state of Indiana for those who filed 2020 taxes 
before January 3rd, 2022. 4.3 million residents in the state of Indiana uh, are receiving these. And I've already seen some comments from some people from Indiana who have already started to receive this money in the state of Indiana. The state of Delaware is also sending out uh, tax rebate checks, stimulus checks, whatever you want to call these. It's a check, right? That's all that really matters. Worth $300 per person for single filers and $600 for joint filers. Uh, there are no income requirements. The only requirement is that a 2020 Delaware state tax return was filed. Remember that uh, in, in some cases or in a lot of these cases, you can file a tax return um, even if you didn't normally file a tax return or if you didn't normally one or if you had no income, you can file a tax return um, or you could have filed a tax return if, if your state has a 2022 income uh, state stimulus check. You might want to file a tax return this year if you don't normally file one to get your uh, stimulus check from the state. So for the state of Delaware, um, for these $300 to $600 checks, uh, there's no income requirements. 600,000 residents are estimated to be receiving stimulus payments. Yeah. Also, I wanted to let you guys know about this one. This is an interesting one. A special $2,000 stimulus payments are available to people in this one state. This is This is kind of a... Uh, utility payments here. I'll show you this one here. Check this out. You can see here, this is from Yahoo. States around the U.S. are still finding creative ways to give their residents a new stimulus check at a time when such payments will remain at a state and local phenomenon for the foreseeable future because we are seeing a lot of uh, state and local program and checks and packages all over the United States. And remember, we just had that Biden administration announcement uh, with free internet uh, for millions of Americans. And uh, I just did a video on that. I'll link it to that really good video on that here. Uh, the newest example is the state of Maryland, which is launching a program to help low income households with water bills. And actually, there's a lot of you can get this in almost every state uh, through different programs. I have a video showing you how to do this here as well. I'll link you. It's through the State Department of Human Services Low Income Water Assistance Program, offering up to $2,000 in assistance. It focuses on Maryland households whose drinking water and wastewater bills are more than 30 days past due. So you can get $2,000 in uh, utility assistance uh, in Maryland through this program. But really, there's programs like this available in almost every state, if not all states, which is uh, what's interesting. I've, I've done a video on this. I've actually talked about this several times. I'll link you to this here at the end of this video. Yeah, you can see here low-income household water assistance programs and other utility assistance programs. Handling this federally funded program is the Department's Office of Home Energy Programs. Its purpose includes helping eligible households pay their water, wastewater bills, and avoid shutoff. And there's also the uh, LEAP programs and the Lie Heap programs. Uh, one of them has an H in there, which is why it's not just LEAP. It's like Lie Heap because it has uh, an H in there for, uh, for heating. Uh, another program is to support household water system reconnecting stemming from non-payment. Uh, the efforts will continue using those federal funding supporting uh, until it runs out. Uh, if you're from Maryland, from the state's announcement of this new water stimulus check, they're calling it, uh, Maryland residents can learn more about the Low Income Household Water Assistance Program at the Department of Human Services website. So if you're from Maryland, uh, just Google that. Or uh, here is the website. You can uh, pause the video and write that down. It's mymdthink.maryland.gov. Uh, no spaces. Other stimulus check efforts. There's several several things going on here. Uh, as, as noted here, Maine has passed the $850 checks. Under debate in Kentucky 
is a one-time stimulus rebate of $500 per residence and $1,000 per household uh, in the state of Kentucky. So that is a possibility here for the state of Kentucky. A tax rebate in Idaho is coming via a direct deposit, um, which will be $75 or a greater of 12% of a person's 2020 Idaho state taxes. So that is um, can be more than $75, basically. <laughs> it's kind of the easiest way to say that, depending on how much state taxes you pay. So, and also the Kentucky one here as well could be a $500 stimulus check or $1,000 per household. A tax rebate for every Hawaiian taxpayer is also under consideration. It would be $300 if you make less than $100,000 and $100 if you make over $100,000 for the state of Hawaii. Aloha. So again, we have a lot of states literally just uh, one by one here coming out of the woodwork or saying, hey, let's use this extra money that we have sitting in our coffers and uh, let's give it back. And this is going to be important here because um, on Wednesday, uh, let me get back to that here before I forget about it. I had so much stimulus information, I almost forgot. On Wednesday is going to be the new inflation number coming out here. I'll show it to you right here. Yeah, new inflation figures come out on Wednesday, <laughs> and everybody will be watching. So on May 11th, Wednesday, will be the new inflation numbers. And remember, the last month was 8.5% uh, for March. And now we're going to get the new April numbers here on Wednesday, May 11th. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. And uh, you, what are your guesses here? What do you, what do you think uh, April numbers are going to be? Higher or lower than 8.5%? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a tricky one here. And... Uh, you know, we're starting to see all these state stimulus checks. We'd like to see some more on the federal level. Um, we did just see that new federal announcement of free Internet for millions and millions of Americans. I covered here in this recent video I'll link you to here. Uh, I, got, I got a couple of videos here I'll link you to. One on how to get the free utility assistance. Um, in fact, I just had a, a, a comment here. I'll show you this one. Yeah, you can see here from um, my video from like, I don't know, a couple videos ago here, uh, Holly Joy Griffin here commented, and I pinned the comment, I seen it. Y'all, God is good, so good, we had a $1,200 electric bill from when we got evicted, and then them turning it back on when we got back in our house. I went on April 29th to get help. I found out today they paid the whole thing. We owe nothing. Thank you, Jimmy, for letting us know they were still helping and had funds. God is amazing. Well, God bless you, Holly Joy Griffin. And uh, I'm so happy that you got help. I'm so happy that programs like this exist to help out uh, as many people as possible. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's thank God that there are programs like this to help. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of people don't even know about these programs. So that's why, you know, every so often I try to, to, you know, tell people about as many of these as possible, because you can see here from a, a recent Forbes article, 90% of eligible families don't access uh, these public benefits, these type of programs that, that are out there, like now this new free internet program or, um, it, most you'll have to pay us $30 for internet. Um, or they say tens of millions of people are going to get it for free. Rent assistance, mortgage assistance, utility assistance, um, all these different programs. 90% of people don't access them or don't know about them. So um, I'm trying to spread the word about these programs and help out as many people as possible so that uh, people like Holly can, um, can, can get this help that is that is from these stimulus packages and um you know have have just that little bit of extra comfort 
or a little bit of extra help um, that is uh, that is already out there. And, and uh, the, most people just don't know about them. According to Forbes, 90% of eligible families just don't know about them. Yeah, so um, share this video with your friends and family. And um, because, you know, I'm, I'm here just trying to tell everybody about what's going on here in our country, uh, all these different stimulus programs and stimulus packages here. And I'll keep you up to date here with everything. Um, click subscribe down below if you haven't yet. It's completely free to do so. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll link you to some of those important videos next on how you can apply for these programs. Uh, after you click the subscribe button, if you haven't yet, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get notified as soon as we come out with new videos. This top video here is that new video on how to get free internet. This bottom video here is how to get free or how to get utility assistance. This video here is how to get rent assistance. You can get your rent paid up to 12 months from the government. And this video here is for homeowners assistance. You can get up to $80,000 from the last stimulus package. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.